Hey Jeepers, welcome back to Altered Life. Today we are installing something that we're really excited about. We've been trying to install this for the past few weeks and weather has not been on our side. Now for Labor Day weekend, we have some good weather for a few days. So we are finally installing our custom spiderweb shade. because we custom made this. It's not just a solid color, so I'm really excited for you guys to see our custom design that we made. I think it matches Gypsy really well. And actually, I didn't really design it, Cody designed it. Mm. Cody can take all the credit, well, so. I mean. He did all the Photoshopping and the graphic designs and all of that, so. I can't take all the credit, Derek helped me. Okay, his Derek. friend Derek helped. And then. He helped to get it started, yeah, and then yeah, Cody like kind of. It redid the whole thing. We didn't want a plain, I mean, the plain spiderweb shade is awesome just because it's a sunshade and they, they just add a cool pop of color and they're functional. They mm -hmm. keep you from getting burnt and everything, but just with burnt. Gypsy, it's, everything's kind of different, custom, I mean, ish. But, so we wanted to do something different and uh, spiderweb shade is awesome because they allow you to do a custom print all you gotta do is just contact their uh, print shop there at spiderweb spiderwebshade.com and uh, submit your artwork on what you'd like and then you just talk back and forth till you're happy with it. And then they go ahead and, thugs, and then they go ahead and uh, get it printed up for you and sent. Once we finalized the design, it was less than a week when we had this. Yeah. So it was awesome. Well, they did rush it for us also so we can't really say that everyone's turnaround will be a week but um so they're pretty good at their job and yeah. they have an awesome quality product yeah super good quality product and the best part about the product it's american made it doesn't say it on the back but america it's always good to support american made companies yes and and for the jl's Spiderweb Shade has a really cool design that they've improved on for how it attaches. Because I've had a Spiderweb Shade for the for the YJ for a few years now. And, and it's just like the little great. bungee. Yeah, it's the spider balls. The, yeah. the little bungee with the ball. Well, they uh, kind of improved that design yeah. for the JL. And it's awesome. Yeah, so, it is a great design. So shortly. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and get this baby on. So, obviously the first step to installing your new spiderweb shade is to take the top off, which, Cody, why don't you go ahead and demonstrate? Whoa! Whoa! The next step to installing your brand new spiderweb shade is unpacking it. Everything's unpacked. I'm gonna have Cody explain what all we have included here. So, we have our shade, probably a super important part. And then earlier we were talking about how the new shades for the JLs attach. So these are the new attachment points. Uh, they're going to provide a, what is this, a T25 Torx, a strap of some sort that we're gonna figure out what it does. And then this is a clear protective film that gets laid down over the roll bar that way it keeps the shade from flapping in the wind and wearing the paint on the roll bar and your handy dandy instructions that talk you step by step on what to do to install your brand new spiderweb shade it does require to fold down your windshield so the first thing you're gonna get is your handy dandy toolkit Include it with your brand new Jeep. And out of that toolkit, you're going to grab your ratchet with your 15 millimeter supplied socket. And we're gonna go ahead and start taking off 
the windshield wipers with that. First step to getting the windshield wipers off is to remove this cap. Now they're very easy to remove. You just kind of get your fingernail under and pop her off. It's gonna expose the 15 millimeter socket. And then from there, we just um, try to not break it. So once you have that off, extend your wiper out and pull straight up. Straight out. You pull straight out. You pull straight out. I see it moving. Why isn't it coming? It's out? moving the whole thing. I know. So if you were struggling like me and this windshield wiper was kicking your butt, I turned to the forms and was reading through. And I guess pulling straight up sometimes doesn't work, but all you gotta do is kinda wiggle, wiggle. back and forth and then pull up and then they will come off easy. If you can see here, there's a tiny, come on in closer, Lauren. Bunch of tiny little splines all the way around here. So you just gotta kinda wiggle it to disengage it and then it'll come right out. Wiggle and, and pull. Once you got that out, just go ahead and put your nut back on so you don't lose it. And then go to the other side. Next out of your handy dandy toolkit, you're going to get your T40 attachment and you're gonna start removing some bolts from the interior. If you fold down your sun visor, you'll see four interior windshield bolts. So there's one on each corner and then there's one more towards the center near your rear view mirror on both sides. So go ahead and take all four of those out. The first time the windshield's been down on that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, would you just look at that? Oh, yeah, ain't she a beaut? I think it's so cool that you can fold down the windshield on these. Yeah, it's a Jeep thing. It's a Jeep thing. <laughs> Imagine how many bugs would fly in your face. Do you know how many bugs this windshield has caught just within the month that we've had it? So once your windshield is folded down, you're going to lay out your shade across the top of your Jeep and clip on your header clips across the front just like we did here do is just kind of hook this plastic hook right on the edge of the pants so you're gonna pull down there and then it kind of just pulls up and snaps once that's done you can just fold your windshield back up and you can get those bolts replaced and the wipers back on so at this point the whole shade is installed across the windshield and it's time to move to the back before you start installing it in the back, you're going to apply the tape that Spider Web Shade provides for you along your roll bars to protect them. What you're doing is I'm taking just some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, just to clean any dirt that would be on the surface here. That way the protective film will have the best chance to stick. There are three sections of this protective film. There's two smaller sections like this that go on the ends and then one longer section that goes across the center. So those smaller ones. And then your next one will go across here and your third one over here. Now we're going to take our T25 Torx that spreader web shade provided and our factory ratchet from our toolkit and underneath the roll bar here there's six bolts on each side so we're going to pull out each bolt and put the bolt through this and replace it and then I will show how awesome this system is once we get all these in so okay. pull your bolt put it through the new Put it right back in the hole. Okay. 
And that should be tight. So what we hinted to earlier in the video, the new connector that Spiderweb Shade uses is actually a fixed connection with the bungee instead of a separate bungee with the ball that you feed through an eyelet. So this is actually physically connected to the shade and it can't get be removed, which is easier and cleaner. So all you have to do is stretch that, stretch that to this new attachment point. Now with this attachment point, what I'm finding in the rear ones, there's not a lot of room between the plastic here. Yep, over on that side. So right here to get the bungee in. So I, the other side, how I installed it was I left it a little loose. So I left this one a little loose so we can stretch the bungee over. Then once we have it, the bungee through, then we'll tighten it up. Now, the strap that I didn't know what was for was actually a leverage strap. So you feed that through the bungee so you can stretch that down and feed that. Oh, feed that. And then, yep. So just like that. You feed that all the way around and then you pull your strap out and it's there. And you take your tool, once that's tightened, we're on and just tighten that up to lock that bungee in. So we are doing the two rear most straps first. That way it pulls the whole shade tight front to back and then we can go side to side without worrying about the shade kinking or twisting. Using the hand ratchet's fun and all, but power tools are much quicker. We well, I smart. mean, smart's a relative term. Smarter than what we were when we started this right. process. Am I physically smarter? Uh, probably not. But yeah. Cody, you wanna demonstrate our method? Yeah. You got your bungee up here. Again, it's attached to the shade, but it's this far away. You take your leverage strap right up through, four and a half, pull tight, come down, wrap and around. Wrap around it. Wrap around it, boom, pull. Solid. God, sweater web shade, you guys are awesome. This is so easy. And that is it. It is that easy to install your brand new spider web shade. It's so easy. Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> it really is really easy. I think the hardest part is just getting the windshield, windshield wipers off, honestly. So if you can get the windshield wipers off, you can do everything else for this install. And that wasn't even that bad. No, it really wasn't even that bad. But we're starting to run out of daylight, and I'm going to show you guys what our custom spider web shade looks like once I get some more daylight. Tomorrow. Are you ready to see our custom spider web shade? And go. sunny it is out right I mean it's a sunny day now the Sun is shining on me a little bit because it's starting to set a little bit it's the late afternoon honest to God this sunshade is keeping off so much Sun for me I can't imagine how hot it would be without this thing on today my Jeep says that it's 92 degrees outside I'm not getting burnt and I'm sitting here fine obviously if you don't already have a spider web shade you need to go get one right now a they're super easy to install, as you saw. B, you can keep it on all the time. Your hard top will just snap on right over top of it. And C, it's a great price and a great deal. Not to mention, it keeps out a lot of debris as well, while you're driving and while you're parked. This shade keeps out so many leaves and bugs and sticks and 
whatnot. So that's another added benefit on top of everything else. Why not just go get one? Make sure you check out spiderwebshade.com. You can go customize your own or put a logo on it. Get whatever color you want, literally whatever. And I'm going to end it at that. This wraps up the video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We have some exciting new things coming with our upcoming honeymoon road trip, so make sure you stay tuned to see a lot of great wheeling. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. We really appreciate the support as our channel is trying to grow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like our videos. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining the Altered Life.